Oh, good. From the camera, the bag appeared over the nose. Just about done. Okay, our barn has gotten, with the warmer temperatures, our barn has gotten pretty gross over the weekend, mostly yesterday, uh, and we had a busy day. We had three cows, three heifers calves. This is number three. <clears throat> it's early Monday morning, and uh, I'm going to move this calf into a clean pen, and it's a great way to start the week. There you go. No, 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 you're supposed to stay. Come. Why are you going in there? There we go. There. All right, we got two, four, six, seven pair in here. And there's, on the other side of the, those doors, we got more more pair. We have some more pair. We're gonna move 18 pair from our one side and we're gonna move them out to uh, greener pasture that isn't green yet, it's still white. But there's more room, it's drier, and uh, just getting things set up. So when things warm up and it's muddy, we have more cows on dry ground, so we are moving these guys out. Which one do you want in, Quinn? Which one? Perfect. There. We have two pair in here. Two. Yeah. Okay. First load coming up. We're gonna leave our, uh, this is where our bulls were all winter. We'll leave all 18 pair in this area until Rob comes with feed and then uh, we'll let them out. Your calf is right in front of you. Come on, let's go. No, heck no. There's still calves. They're all coming. Got one calf left. He's coming. Come on, little buddy. Uh, Woohoo! All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can close it.
Come on. Come on, sweetie. Let's go. Let's go, babe. Come on. There you go. Locked in. All right, last one, number 18. 18th pair is heading out. That's fine, I'll get it. Back up, 3D. Back up. Always standing there, she always wants out first. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yep, come on. Up you go. Okay, what is that? This is an hour. Uh, that's Tazvax and Express 10. Tazvax and Express 10. And that does what, Daryl? Uh, Tazvax is for black leg, and the uh, Express 10 is for just respiratory. Like All right. Stuff. Okay. That's what we gave the cows. Each one of the cows got that, and now they're good for pasture. We still want to vaccinate the calves. That'll be. A little bit later, we'll do that out there. This is the plan. Yeah, we got our we got our load ready. Second load, ready. lots of room here for them, and they'll be much happier where they go. A lot more room, drier ground. Yeah, it'll be good. So, right on, and it's lunchtime. So, where are you at with feeding? Uh, we're all feeding steps now. Okay, so then what do you have left? Put oh, so you said Rob's to do? You did the bulls? Yeah. Okay, so you said Rob's. Oh, perfect. Okay. So these guys are done? Yeah, we're all done. So as soon as you get back, we'll load them for Rob, for Rob's place. And then um, when he takes them back, he can release them up there. That should be good. And you want to put an oats bale on? Well, you want to go grab it, and then me and Quinn will do the. Okay, me and Quinn will do the gates. Does that work? Yeah. Okay. couple cats that are keeping them company over into the shack there too. Water is good. Right full. Okay, let's just go do a head count. Make sure everybody's out here. Here. Okay, salt block is good. Minerals good. It's up 
K33. They don't need to run away on me. Yep, there's a feed. They're busy hacking away at her here. Good. Okay. All right, I got this calf that was born this morning, Haley's, my daughter. She had a heifer calf. All right, nice weight, 86 pounds. I think she knows who her calf is. So if this calf can go on, we'll, uh, we'll boot them right out to the other side. Okay. This cow and this calf, Haley's pair, they are doing awesome. We've got Quinn and his calf, and calf is getting on, starting to get on on its own. So they are doing awesome. Our plan here is we are actually gonna gut the barn down the middle. We're gonna take all the manure out. Last year, Typically what we use, the we like to keep the straw in here and not clean it out every day or often just because it it creates a heat in our cold climate. We, and we just keep putting fresh straw on. When the straw is decomposing and breaking down with the manure, it creates heat and it, kel it, he it keeps the, we believe it keeps it a little bit warmer in the, for the cows to lay on. So that's why we continue to lay uh, fresh straw on so that it's fresh. Uh, and only clean it out once but last year last year we uh we it got so muddy so it got so bad we couldn't even clean it out for the middle of summer and then it got really bad so daryl came up with the idea yesterday that we now when it's frozen and because we're just about done calving he suggested hey how about when the ground's cold how about let's get all this manure out of here and then uh when the ground's frozen and then put fresh stuff in only as we need it. So we're gonna try that, give that a try. We've tried a bunch of different things. The first year we had the barn, we cleaned the pen out I think every three days and it was a lot of work and uh, we had other we had other neighbors that had said, oh, we never cleaned the barn out, we just keep building it up and they suggested doing it this way. We found that this way worked quite well, but now the cabin's over, we're gonna clean it out. Because manure takes a long time to uh, dry out. Therefore, when it starts to get really, really warm, then this manure, this, this straw pack, it's gonna take a long time for it to dry. It won't dry down. It's, it, because we're in a building, it won't dry down. So it, it often is a very messy for us to pull it out. So I hope that makes sense. This is what works for our farm. We keep our calves uh, and cows, we try to keep them as clean as possible and, uh, and uh, healthy, so. Yeah, okay, that's good. Perfect, and we'll... Cleaning it out, and we are having big piles, and uh, well, you can even see it. 
we can see it. We probably can't on camera. But you can see the steam that's coming off of this pile. That's just, that just gives an example of that there is heat that comes from here that was helping keep the animals warm. So hopefully we don't need that anymore. And hopefully summer or spring is on its way. This guy is lying here so calm. Oh, just talking, I guess. Woke him up. Oh, I believe we just had a fresh calf. That's funny. I came here to just do a walkthrough, but our 204 cow just had a calf. Okay, so that one's fresh. We're gonna let mom and maid stay out here for a little bit. Nice enough out. That is a heifer calf. Big heifer calf. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't like it that it's in that muddy area. So we're gonna grab sleigh. We're gonna move everything inside where it's clean. So, yes, 43, I'm not getting your calf, don't worry. Cap is trying to get on already. Oh, that's a leggy one. Okay, so I am not as coordinated as Kendall. I got calf in the barn with the sled. I was not able to have the camera going well because I just wanted to keep ahead of him. Anyway, calf, cow are in the barn. And calf is getting up again. Beautiful. All right, well, Parker helped me bring in some cows. I got six in here. Two, the two remaining heifers right there and behind her. And then some cows that are showing signs that they're closed. It was a good day. It was a bit of a cooler day, but uh, yeah, lots of work done. So <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a good one.